possible. <laughs> <laughs> He's absorbing all of his force into their collarbone. <laughs> I think I like the way he stands for stone the best, which is just the Inokumai. And I really like the pairing because it's all based on timing. It's right when the opponent's weight is slightly off because they're committing into that attack. My name is Lawrence Mock. I'm a martial artist with a background in Japanese martial arts. I've been training for about 13, 14 years, uh, specifically in Japanese karate, Aikido, and Kenjutsu. Uh, my name is Brennan Hewer. I'm a professional stuntman and motion capture performer and fight coordinator for video games, TVs, and movies. Uh, I've done stuff for DC's Titans, Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, I've done some promotional stuff for Ghost of Tsushima, and I've been a martial artist for almost 30 years now. So we know this was highly requested. Uh, we'll be reviewing gameplay from Ghost of Tsushima. I'm super excited. I just beat this, and uh, I did some promotional stuff on this too. Facial capture and everything. Nice. Dots on my face. So we're super excited to be here, uh, but safety is always important. So you can see we have a plexiglass barrier, and as well as wearing masks while we're on set between takes. Okay, so first thing to kind of really talk about that's really important is <laughs> with very traditional Kenjutsu, uh, we don't really use a lot of grappling hooks to swing around. So there's not much for me to really give expertise on there because, I mean, let's be honest, look at me. I wouldn't be able to do anything like that. This Jin right here doesn't have the, uh, the assassination upgrade yet. Yeah. <laughs> I got that as soon as I could. Where the one where he just comes up and just stabs people. <laughs> and they, just, they just drop. The grappling hook always does feel really cool when you're using it in the game. It always it feels does. like you're like a feudal Japan Batman. <laughs> it's cool, but I want to see someone try to jump 50 feet down and land without breaking both their legs. And yeah, I'm being hypercritical, I know. He's absorbing all of his force into the their collarbone. Into the, <laughs> <just down. laughs> the thing about Ghost of Tsushima that I really did appreciate with this is a lot of the Kenjutsu minus the assassinations and the Assassin's Creed look and stuff, is that the Kenjutsu in this game is actually very solid. Like those two cuts right there, the one, two, very solid. Both hands are there. You're seeing that the full body is getting involved in the cut, so it's not just flailing with the arms. I will say though that, you know, you know the chain assassinations that they keep showing? It's mm -hmm. like the second one is almost always that spin around and then slashing them in the back, mm -hmm. where most of, almost all the opponents have some sort of back armor on them, and then they're just yeah, like- Yeah, it would just bounce. Yeah, they're just slicing through their back armor like butter. You know, Jin, like throughout the entire story, never cleans his sword once. Like, I mean, he kind of like wipes it on his arm. Yeah. But, uh, he never actually cleans his sword. No, yet. and then with all the incendiary oil, he just sheets it right from being on fire. The inside of his sheath is probably gross as hell. <laughs> I'll say one thing that I think they really nailed for the entire Ghost of Tsushima game is it really kind of, uh, especially when you're doing these big group fights, it looks so much like the old, like, Chambara Japanese samurai films. They yeah. did such a good job, like, making the fight system kind of match that aesthetic. So, like, a lot of the stuff, even though it's not completely realistic, like, I feel like it's done as an homage to those type of movies. Right, because even a lot of those movies aren't historically 100% accurate either. You know, part of it is the entertainment aspect. If it was completely 100% historically accurate, this would not be as fun of a game as it is. Right, and that's something that we really toe the line all the time. When we're doing shows that are historically based, like yes, it's important to make it real and believable, but you gotta make it entertaining as well, otherwise nobody wants to watch it. Right. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we've actually had minor discussions about the different stances already. So right there, that's actually really good, Yaijitsu. I don't like that Kamai or that positioning personally because it doesn't make a lot of sense to hold it up like that. To me, at least. I'm not saying it's incorrect. The, that's the, that's way the water stance one, right? You don't yeah. like that one? Uh, that's the one. And you don't like the moon one either, right? The moon one's weird because you're just pointing <laughs> at the sky, personally. Like I said, I'm not saying it's wrong. It's just the, the style we practice, we don't use it is the best way to put it. Uh, personally, the, in the in the different stances that he uses, I think I like the way he stands for stone the best, which is just the... Right, the, the, the inokumai there. Yeah, inokumai. When we keep saying the word kamai, kamai is basically, it's roughly translates to like positioning. Inokumai is a very defensive stance, like he's holding right now. Yeah, it's funny when you see Jin get into any of the standoff, you can already see his hand on the sword, which to anyone who practices Japanese sword, Anyone knows that that means that they're ready to draw at any moment. So for his opponent to, to try to run in, to yeah. try to come in is always uh, is always really funny. Although later on they do get much better about faking you out. R oh, oh God, yes. <laughs> See now you're, just, you're making fun of me because I was complaining about that because <laughs> I was so bad at I'll it. I'll give you the opportunity to yeah. bring it up. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want to bring it up. <laughs> I did really enjoy the archery in this game, to be honest with you. Obviously, in terms of gameplay, shooting hornet's nests, 
It's a good distraction, but <laughs> it's a little unconventional. I've heard for Japanese Kudo, they sight below the arrow as opposed to above the arrow like we normally do. So it is kind of cool to see Jin kind of lifts the bow up and then drops it into position rather than just drawing. <laughs> Yeah, like even there, that parry there, you see when he does the parry and he moves, he's not moving towards the shield side. He's trying to get to the open area to counterattack. So you see right there, he's not dodging where the shield is. He's moving to the open area to get an attack in. So I don't know broadsword. You might know a little better than me, but do you ever have it sitting on over your shoulder like that when you're using it? Well, what they're using is not single broadsword, like especially these types right. of enemies, they're using a much bigger version of the typical broadsword. Right, I can't get over the EI in this game, so good. The the quick drawing right there, and yeah. then dueling. So fun to do every time you just call them out and stand off. If only I wasn't so bad at it. <laughs> Ooh. That was, okay, that was one thing. Like, even in the beginning, when you get the kunai and you throw them at people, mm -hmm. the kunai do so much damage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is there a bear? <laughs> 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 We're used to seeing kunai from, like, Naruto and stuff like that and them being super powerful, but from what I understand, like, they're just farming tools. Yeah. They're basically garden spades mm -hmm. that people are using as throwing knives. But yeah, there's a lot of traditional karate weapons that come from farming, farming implements. Tool. Kama, Sai, Tonfa. Uh, the ore in some styles. I really loved the dueling in this game, especially because they made it so cinematic with these setups. And what he does here is actually correct, because what happens is when you're getting ready to draw your sword, in order for the sword to hold in place, it kind of holds itself. So in order to be able to draw a little bit quicker and with a little less resistance, you want to pop it away from the sheet. And a lot of times because of the EI, you're, you're slicing right out of the draw. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want that extra resistance to hold you back, even though you could just like, you know, force it, brute yeah. force, rip it out. And I really like the parrying because it's all based on timing. And you can see when the parry happens, especially those perfect parries, it's right when the opponent's weight is slightly off because they're committing into that attack. Yeah. It might make me sound mean, but that always made me laugh with the Heavenly Shrike where he just gets hit by thunder or lightning. Oh, you don't know that technique? No, I don't. <laughs> oh, the environments are so pretty. It is so beautiful. I remember when I first booted up the game, and Brendan knows this because we were talking about this while we were playing the game, but I was literally just exploring the map nonstop in the beginning, just doing side missions and everything before even doing a lot of story, just because a lot of it was seeing such beautiful cinematics like this. It's almost comedic at times, because you'll be going from a very green area, and then all of a sudden you and go into the area snow. that's like completely autumn. And yeah. it's just like all the leaves are changing, and then yeah, like you said, another area is all snow. Right, and th that part with that there's really cool. One thing I really love they did with this game is when you set waypoints, the way it directs you is by the wind guiding you, which is a great way to direct you to your location without it intruding on the cinematic aspect of this whole thing, yeah, which is it's great. Re it's really immersive. I'm by no means an expert climber, but... Same, neither am I. <laughs> this is not how you climb. No. <laughs> Especially with all that armor on. They even make a comment on it in the game. Like, Yuna makes a, a comment about how she had to, like, strip a bunch of armor off of Jin just to drag, drag him, him, right? you know, to safety in the beginning of the game. And then here he is kind of flying around like Spider-Man, <laughs> grappling hook on, onto everything. Yeah, just making Lara Croft, like, jumping leaps to every oh, yeah, Like that. <laughs> <laughs> like that. You can even see in the... The version that he's wearing, the leg armor doesn't have any sort of hip hinge. Right. So, <laughs> right. Like him trying to go down on a knee or like roll the way he does. That's just like, going to jam. Even if you rolled, you would just be a beetle on your back. Oh. I mean, in stunts, we do a lot of like wire work and stuff. And when we're using, you know, tech line to do anything, especially anything that's where, where the line's going from slack to like tight like that, mm -hmm. you can only use line like that so many times before you have to like not use that line anymore. Oh, buddy, and Jin so uses the exact same grappling hook throughout the entire game. Right. That thing would have broken. Oh no, that rope would be gone. I mean, this was something that was done to improve your, your swordsmanship, to work on your cuts. Nowadays, I don't see this as often. I, like if you ever look online and you see people doing stuff like this, it's more a single bamboo mat because this can get very expensive very quickly. You're cutting through a lot of stuff frequently. So a lot of people tend to use more what's called a tatami mat or a straw mat that's rolled up and they tend to cut through those. Like I said, I'm not an expert on this on this exercise, but trying to go through seven at a time seems, seems kind of excessive. Yeah. Most katanas are made of steel. For me personally, I wouldn't use a live blade besides doing something like tamashigiri, which is cutting the mats. Normal day-to-day -day practice, things like that, just training. We use wooden swords no normally at this yeah. point. We wouldn't use a, a, a steel blade, especially a shinken, which is the live blade, because that's A, dangerous, but B, they're expensive, and if you start damaging them, it's very hard to repair a chip 
in the blade. I really wouldn't want to have something like a cape, you know? It's good for keeping you warm, but if I'm in a fight, that can tangle me up, it can get wrapped around my arms, I could trip on it if it's long enough. It's just something that wouldn't want to have on me during a sword fight. No capes! But yeah, the Traveler's Attire is kind of what I stuck to the entire game. In terms of like movement-wise, the way Jin moves, it's the one that, that, that seems to make the most sense. Like it doesn't have like armor pieces that are getting in the way. And... Right. The shorter sword would usually be more of a backup in case you lose your main weapon. In the game, the insides of the buildings are big open spaces, right? But that's not always going to be the case. You might not have a big open space indoors, so you have to have a backup to be able to fight without getting hitting the walls and getting stuck. I will say that that does reflect in the game too, though, is like all the assassination stuff is usually done with the, uh, the, with the short sword. Yeah, yeah, he comes up and just, you know, stabs him through the neck just or... poke. Yeah. <laughs> I went in with high expectations on how it was going to look, and I was still blown away with how beautiful the scenery was. I really like that it hits this balance between, you know, realistic actual sword fighting and then like a very cinematic design to the sword fights. So I think them being able to hit that balance and still make it a playable and satisfying game is a huge accomplishment and it feels really good to play. So that was us reviewing Ghost of Tsushima. Hope you guys liked it. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you check out the Gameology YouTube channel and Facebook page. And uh, yeah, that's us. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.